Hey guys, welcome back to EU4 as Moldavia. And uh, as you can see, I want to ally Prussia because um, we pieced out last time with Poland and Poland got partitioned. Uh, Poland really had to give up their provinces. Most of uh, most of the provinces I took, I think one, two, three, four, five, or maybe only four, um, but definitely I took a lot. And then we have Prussia taking over pretty much the rest and Bohemia taking two provinces. Now, here's my idea. I do want to ally with Prussia um, simply because they're, first of all, allied to Bohemia, and I don't want to have to worry about a front over here. I can use these guys to fight Austria later on, and I could also use them to perhaps fight Muscovy and Sweden, because remember, Sweden has rivaled us, and they're also allied to Muscovy, so if these two nations decide to go against me, I kind of want to have these two on my side, and also they could obviously be useful against Austria. I just want to seal off uh, one border at least, so uh, that will bring us over our relationship, uh, diplo diplomatic relationship limit, but it's not all that bad. Now, um, you guys, actually one of you has mentioned that I should probably look at trade and uh, yeah, change my trade um, uh, from, well I think I had him in Alexandria and Constantinople. So what I did now, I moved my trade capital to Kiev and started transferring trade power from Crimea. And that had a huge impact. I was making 1.8 ducats from trade and now I'm making 6.3. That's a huge bonus. So thank you for pointing that out. That's helping out our economy so much. Uh, otherwise we would be making barely any money. Now we're making six bucks. And basically what that means is we can afford to build a much bigger military from probably up to up to our force limit almost. So that's amazing. Thank you guys uh, or thank you particularly for telling me this, that's an awesome idea. Now, I'm now preparing actually to go to war with Lithuania. Uh, it's just we are still heavily uh, over overextended. So, uh, yeah, we need 200 points, 300 points in total to core these last two provinces. But it's going to take a while. So, I don't think I'm, I'm going to be declaring a war just now. Um, but a big, one of the biggest wars in Europe actually uh, that I've just seen has broken out. Aragon declared war in England. Look who they brought in. So Aragon is bringing in Burgundy and Portugal, whereas uh, England's bringing in Austria, Tunis, and Savoy. This is a huge, huge war. So basically, what I'm hoping now is that the Ottomans. I'm actually going to go forward a little bit. I'm hoping now that the Ottomans will finish their war with the Mamluks, which uh, it seems like they're almost going to be doing that. And then I want, um, I want, yeah, the Ottomans to declare war on Austria. That would be amazing if that happens then I can declare war on Austria as well. So yeah, um, Prussia now wants a royal marriage even. Um, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do, we're not gonna do a royal marriage. We don't need that. Austria does not have an heir. Um, well, getting a personal union over them would also be working, but I, I doubt that's gonna happen, yeah. Um, but yeah, that war with, with Aragon, it's just so amazing. Burgundy and Aragon together with Portugal can now fight England, Austria. Um, but I feel like, I don't know how strong Burgundy is, but I feel like Austria and England are going to win this. Uh, simply because Aragon just got out of this big war with the Ottomans and, and they probably lost a lot of troops there. So we'll see, but that's definitely something interesting we can watch uh, while we obviously uh, try to burn down our, uh, well, our aggressive expansion. Now I also, um, with the new uh, money that we're making, we're making so much more money. Now even 6.7 trade, that's so good. Uh, so because of this, we can now afford a uh, diplomatic advisor, and I've gone for the Battle Relations Over Time guy, just so that people uh, will like us a little bit more. So I think we're also going to probably improve relations with Prussia here. Yeah, because I, I do really want to have them on our side, because um, otherwise it kind of would be annoying. Um, especially... I think we're gonna have to fight Sweden at some point. I mean, they're they're so far pushed into Europe already, um, and they rivaled us. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to fight them at some point. And look at this: Russia is fighting rebels. Russia still likes us. I mean, I don't want to fight them if I don't have to, right? But I feel like eventually that's just going to have to happen. Bohemia has 40,000 men. That's pretty good. I think we should actually. I mean, we're not at our manpower cap yet, but I think. We should we should start building up some men at least so that we at least like nine troops or something. Um, so we're 15, 15 stack. I think that's pretty good. Let's actually create a template. Um, so nope. Yeah, there we go. And four here. And one. 
I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, just call it template name. That's fine. We do have the money. So let's build one of these templates. Where do we need it? Can't say. I think we probably want to build one maybe in over here. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're right in the center of our nation. Cool. But yeah, the, the trade is helping us so much. Uh, I don't know what I would do without this. Okay, so let's have a quick look at um, the, the, the military, obviously. Who has the biggest army? I think that... Yeah, look at this. Muscovy. Then it's Austria. The Ottomans, Persia. But they have no manpower. England. So yeah, Austria and England both have more than Aragon and Burgundy. So I'm pretty sure that they're also going to win. Uh, Portugal's not even on the list. Neither is Savoy. We're over here. Uh, Bohemia now has surpassed us again. But I think we'll be able to uh, catch back up. I'm just surprised that we've already uh, discovered so much of the world. I mean, we know about... Okay, I guess we don't really know much. We only know the water. Uh, but we know all, all about this. I mean, it's possible that Portugal has discovered this, but I somehow doubt it. I don't know. Uh, I haven't played a colonizer in a long time, so I don't know how fast you can be. Um, and how fast the AI usually is. But yeah, we have French Brazil here. We have English Venezuela. And we can't see over here. Well, that's fine. Uh, Ottomans is still in their war. I really hope that you're gonna clash with Persia. Although Persia looks very weak at this at this moment right now. So we're gonna have to see. Um, yeah, still making decent money. That's fine. Getting a little bit of war operations. Poland has been reduced to one province. This is just so bad. And uh, actually, Prussia has a permanent claim on that. Interesting. So luckily, we didn't actually take any provinces from Prussia. So it was smart that we didn't take these because, uh, as I said, Prussia has a permanent claim there. Um, so it's, yeah, again, it's good. Sweden's still at war with Denmark. Probably gonna take their cores back. Yep. It's is it two cores? Yeah, that's no actually in Gotland. So three cores, and they're probably gonna take um, these two provinces as well. At least I would do that. Now Prussia, you know. We all know that Prussia is powerful with their ideas, but right now, this Prussia isn't actually as strong as you might think, because, look, they don't really have a whole lot of men. Um, but Bohemia is still quite powerful. I wonder... No, Austria is still the empire, uh, emperor. I hope that they're going to lose the emperorship, because that's going to make them significantly weaker. But yeah, as soon as we get this um, claim fabricated, I feel like... I want to go ahead and declare this war on Lithuania. And we have... Oh, right. We obviously also have to deal with rebels. And I think maybe even Golden Hood Separatists marching into our territory. Um, yeah, we have Golden Hood. So it's possible that these 14,000 men are going to bother us. I hope not, but, you know, it can always happen. I guess we're going to use that army. Or maybe... Okay, maybe we don't have to do this at all because Russia is taking care of them. Hopefully they're not just going to send them into our territory, because that's sometimes what happens. Anyway, so we are at 100 power projection, obviously, for eclipsing Poland's also helped out quite a bit. Um, and yeah, I think next war, once we're done with Lithuania, we're going to have to kind of kick out uh, Sweden here. They gain so much strength, it's, it's incredible. Problem is, they're not even Protestant. Now, one of you guys actually asked me if I planned on joining a league. And I answered this, but I'm going to answer this in the, in the video as well. I I feel like I don't want to join a league, at least not in the beginning, because um, I rather uh, I rather want Ottomans joining one league, Austria the other one, and then they fight each other. That would be ideal, I guess. Okay, so let's let, let's see, uh, Austria, how are you doing? Austria still has these all of these allies, you know, so. Declaring one him directly would be annoying, but now that Austria is busy, he still has 80,000 men though. But if Aust with Austria busy, we might actually have a chance to go after Genoa. Now you suggested um, that I should go after Circassia, but no, they're allied to Muscovy. I don't want to strain my relationship with Muscovy just now. Um, in fact, I think I'm actually going to go to war with Lithuania. I could vassalize them. Nah. That doesn't really help me at all. Um, we could start another core. We don't have the admin points, though. We don't really have the admin points. Um, man. Kind of feels stupid. But then again... I guess we don't really need to use many men here anyways. Alright, you know what? We're just going to do this. We're not going to really pay too much attention to this war. We're going to fully occup occupy them. 
um, take, I guess, their capital. We can't even... Let's just say we're gonna take Potlessy. Yep, there you go. Declare the war. They don't have any any allies. And we're just gonna go in there and squish them. Take one province, um, you know, at a time. Maybe we're gonna actually go straight for the capital. Let them try and build up some men, it's fine. They can't really harm us. We're just gonna be careful that these guys... No, these guys will rise up. So, let's put... Mm, those are woods, woods, grassland, farmland. So let's put them in the woods, just so we have the defensive terrain, should these rebels rise up, which they probably will uh, anytime soon. So I don't want to attack into any unfavorable terrain, if I can avoid it. Alright, wow, uh, yeah, manpower has dropped quite a bit, but that's because we build men. And Patriarch Authority or Ducats, um, I go with Authority, that's fine, that's fine. Now we have a diplomat, what do we want to do with that diplomat? Uh, we are already improving relations. We should probably improve relations with our ally Bohemia as well, because it's quite low. Is that because of... why is this? Mm, yeah, Griff Expansion, I guess. And Tolerated Heretic. Now, Prussia and Bohemia are both Protestants, so here's, here's ideally what's going to happen. There's going to be a league war with the Ottomans, Bohemia and Prussia fighting Austria, and I will declare my own war at the same time. Crush them, and then once I've gathered all the strength I can, like maybe grabbing all of Hungary from them, I will uh, be strong enough to take on the Ottomans by myself, or perhaps with the help of Muscovy, it's possible. Um, administrative problems. Ugh. Yikes. But, you know, our economy is now strong enough, so that's pretty good. Uh, we don't really have enough points just yet. And it seems it's still... <laughs> yeah. Um, let's get the cannon here. And... Uh, leave enough people here to siege. Lithuania doesn't even have any troops at all. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to occupy all of their land, except for Potlessy, and then we won't get any call for peace, at least not as quickly as we might otherwise get. Alright, you're gonna go, you're gonna move to Kiev, that's fine. Where are the other rebels popping up? In Bamut, so we should probably send our men right there. And this one army is gonna go around and siege everything. Popular religion, there has always been some discrepancy between a religion actually taught and defended by the clergy and the actual faith of the people in the provinces. Most of the time the differences are small enough that the clergy choose to ignore them to instead focus on reinforce the more orthodox spiritual ideas to the people. It seems however that certain ideas are quite unorthodox. If rooted in old traditions have begun to spread together with the orthodox, orthodox faith among our non-orthodox subjects, the resulting mix of old heathen ideas, popular superstitions, and the actual orthodox itself has been quite too much for the clergy to stomach, even if it seems to have made con conversion much more attractive proposition for okay I see what's going um so either we gain missionary strength and piss off the clergy or we gain tolerance of the true faith and uh what do I want well that really pretty much depends um we can nah I guess converting this faster helps but then we still have these newly converted provinces that are all protestant um although what is this doing? It gives them influence. Hmm, they already have too much influence. They're already at 7. I would like to give the clergy some loyalty, but more influence? Recruited minister is going to last for another 20 years. No, I can't. Okay, actually, in that one, independent clergy lasts for another 10 years. No, that's too much. No, we can't, we can't give them... Well, they're going to lose loyalty. Gee, that's really bad. Um, but I can't give it to him. So let's see what we can do. Make a generous donation. Yeah. Give them their look. Yeah. Regain their trust. <sighs> That's a bummer. But yeah, I can't give them any more influence. Uh, sadly. Okay, yeah. We're obviously waiting for this. 200 points. Wow. How are we doing on military attack, by the way? Um. Can I actually... Yeah, we'll go we'll ahead. And military attack. What's what's with our ruler? The next one is terrible in in uh, military. So yeah, we still have that one mission. That's such a stupid mission. I guess we're just gonna cancel that one. It's really seriously. It's just just so stupid. 
Okay, you're gonna go and siege each province one by one. Not totally fine. The Polish separatists still have not risen up. I guess they can take their time. Now, we have that one fort in Krakow, so I was originally thinking about giving Sandomierz, um or building a fort here. But now that we have one in Krakow, I, I don't know. Maybe I don't want to build one there. I guess we'll see. We're going to find out. Definitely not going to build one just now. Okay, so how's the war going? Uh, I'm guessing you're winning. Probably should have a look at Aragon instead of... Uh, okay, yeah, losing 22%. So you actually... It doesn't seem like any of your land is being occupied. Um, so it's like a stalemate in Iberia, but Burgundy is getting crushed. Like, for real. Uh, yeah, Provence, Savoy, everyone's just rushing in there. I guess Aragon has to just... Aragon and Portugal have to deal with Tunis and maybe Iberia, whereas Burgundy has to completely deal with England, Savoy, Provence, and Austria, which is just too much for them to handle. Now, do I want this royal marriage with Bosnia? I don't really think that's going to benefit me, although... No, 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 no. I will accept that because... Um, yeah, because we might inherit them as well. That'd be amazing. So, actually, ah, you're improving relations. So once you're done with Prussia, then I think we're going to send you to improve relations with Bosnia. Because if we could get them as a personal union as well, and it seems like, I mean, there's a chance. Look at that. 40 years old, no heir. That'd be amazing, getting these two guys for free. I love that. I love that. Um, that's extremely lucky, too. But I guess we'll see. Um, I don't count on it. But it would be a nice change. Okay, so these guys in Banwood are enough to suppress the revolt. That's just what I, what I wanted to see. Cool. All right. Um, you still have four? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder, probably Prussia has also rivaled Sweden, I could imagine. Yeah, they have. And they have rivaled Brandenburg. It's funny that Prussia and Brandenburg are both around. Um, but I guess that's the way it is. Where, do we, where else do you have claims? Over here. Are these permanent? They are not permanent claims. Okay. We gained one core, so that's good. That's good indeed. So we're not going to full annex Lithuania, probably. We're just going to take these four provinces, and that's going to piss off... That's totally going to piss off Muscovy, but, you know. Okay, and there are the rebels. Oh, they actually rose up in farmlands. Okay, that's not, that's not as bad. That's not as bad. So... I guess we're gonna give you the leader, Sergei. And where is the river? Let me check the river real quick. Between Warsaw, Potlacy, Brett. It seems like everywhere. Tano. No, Bells. You can come in from Bells. Or. Yeah, that's it. Alright, well, I guess that's what we're gonna go. Um, let's go over here. Don't wanna take the river crossing if I don't have to. Alright, let's go there. Um, you are staying over there, that's fine. And as soon as that falls, we're gonna bring these troops back. It's funny, he's not even trying. Lithuania is just, has just given up. He's not even trying to, to build any men to defend his home. He's just like, alright, I lost. <laughs> Poor guy. I, I pity him a bit. Not really all that much. Um, but a bit. Okay, so luck, uh, unfortunately, because we have to do this little dance, which I guess we don't have to, uh, they actually captured this, which probably would have been, or probably is way, way worse than uh, just attacking across the river. I don't know. Oh, now he's actually building men. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Perhaps we can get some prestige for that, uh, for squishing this the little one stack. Wow, but we are taking some heavy losses here against these rebels. Yep, they're sure tough. Okay, so we've also taken the capital. That's good. So let's send these 4,000 men over to this front, I guess. Although, I don't really want to fight there just now. Uh, and I guess you one guy can go over there as well. We don't need you anymore. Now we're going to split you in half. Um, and you will take care of them. And then go to Krakow. There we are. Cool. And we have fully improved relations with Prussia. And we can apparently call someone in. Who would that be? Oh, that's Bohemia. We have 10 favors again. Alright, Bosnia. You are the one I want to improve relations with. Oh, he just got an heir. He just got an heir. 
All right, fine. I think we're still gonna improve relations with him. Uh, he's been a good boy. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me just one more day. Okay, we totally smashed them. Improve relations with Bosnia, and that was the end of this episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and you join me next time when we get ready to perhaps uh, see some league wars going on. Anyways, I'll see you then. Chief Tronka, signing off.